What is up guys, it's Awan Eternal. Today we are doing another Elite Trainer Box of Unbroken Bonds. Uh, I actually forgot that I ordered this. I picked it up because uh, in order to get like free shipping on one of the sites I buy from, I needed to add more stuff. Uh, so I just slapped this in there to cross that like 75 or something dollar thrush mark just to get qualify for free shipping. I feel like that's a very funny thing. It's like um, to, to escape like paying for shipping these days like you'll add more items to the cart so it's kind of like you buy more than you're expecting to spending a lot more money or not a lot more money but more money than you originally anticipated um to save you know on shipping and i almost feel like it's kind of like it works out i guess mentally it works out for the consumer uh but then for the seller it's like oh they make they sell more stuff <laughs> um yeah just a little weird thing i've been thinking about all right so here here is a quick code card for the packs we do have our eight packs as always big fan of these elite trainer box boxes everything else is just bonus and here we go we have a lot of my champs here two charizards only one sylveon and one on oh, two yeah two charizards one sylveon and one lucaro melmetal i have to say i after it's been a couple of days since release or been about a week i guess and yeah, really liking this product. I feel I feel like Pokemon is on their A game with this set. Actually, in the past couple sets, they they got their timing down where they introduced um, tag teams. So obviously, team up was, a, in my opinion, a big success. A lot of hype around it. And then this one, so I was like, all right, well, this tag team is no longer new. So let's throw in the Charizard. So then they had the Reshiram Charizard, which is a huge chase card for this set. Um, I think those things are the Rainbow Rares are going for like three hundred dollars on some sites. And then we have, and then uh, Unified Minds will have the the triple. So like you know they're just throwing out a lot of cool new things each new set. So, ho! Oh, all right, very solid hit right there. Um, we've pulled, I think this one and the full art previously but always happy to get the i really am a big fan of both sylveon and gardevoir so really happy with that and this card is actually quite good um in the metagame where uh as long as you have you start with two of them and the engine just builds on itself and uh actually i feel like i saw a thing on reddit where someone was asking like is gardevoir and sylveon not that not that rare <laughs> uh i I didn't read all the comments, but I wonder if it was just like, no, it's, you know, RNG is RNG. Things can happen. Uh, however, I feel like I'm getting the same thing. You know, don't... Well, well I did pull a Whimsicott. Um, pulled a Dedenne. You know, I still haven't pulled the Mux. Still haven't pulled the Rishiram Charizard. Uh, pulled the Venomoth. But, you know, I pulled like three Gardevoir Sylveon so far. So, interesting, interesting... Um, in the randomness of this set so far. So we have an Ultra Force Carton Void for the reverse and then a Aromatus for the regular rare. All right, moving on to pack three. Mel Metal Lucario, I, I, I guess I want one, um, but just because I, I like the GX attack. I think uh, I always love things where it's like build a strong defense uh, and then, then go on the offensive. Versus like all out attack, it's not really my style. More of like a control type for anyone that does Magic the Gathering. All right, so let's see, we got a Glitz Core. Triple Acceleration Energy, always love seeing this card. I'm hoping it changes the game. Like, you know, tag teams are obviously really strong, uh, but then that, I wonder if that one, I'm thinking that one can be like a big equalizer for the non-GX Pokemon. Or even GX Pokemon that, uh, that are evolved. We have a Victory Bell for our reverse. That is such a cool art. And then an Incineroar. I feel like Victory Bell is never that intimidating, but this thing looks like it could just jump out and attack you. Okay, we got another pack. Uh, this one is the Gardevoir Sylveon. I feel like I heard like a nickname for that. You know how... Uh, I, I'm not sure when the first time I heard it, but like of the Picarom deck. And then like Guard... Guardy Silv, Guardy Silv or something like that for Gardevoir Sylveon. Very another very cool card. I I want to see become relevant in the meta. Fire Crystal, another cool one. Yeah, I feel like the trainers in this set. Very interesting. This art. Rhyhorn, Growlithe, a Seeking for the reverse, and then a Licky Licky. All right, so usually for these uh 
ETBs or elite trainer boxes. As long as I get one, I feel like a single a single GX is kind of like par, but like kind of like expected. If you get more than one, or that that GX is a full art or better, then it's like yes, this was a very good one. Uh, so we uh, we did do that once, and but let's see if we can't make it happen again. We got a Crow Brawler, Sandile, Oddish, Zubat. A frogadier for a reverse, and let's see if we can do it right here. Ready? One, two, three, boom! Ooh, what the? <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> what's going on? How rare is this card? What is happening? <laughs> I'm happy because this is a very good one, and I love both of these Pokemon. Like, I even have a Sylveon plush uh, over on that, that um, shelf behind me, but hmm. What are the chances? Maybe, maybe the chances are better than I think they are, but uh, alright, this is a very good box. <laughs> And uh, for for my pull rates, man, Gardevoir Sylveon, like, are you pulling a bunch of these as well? Let me know in a comment below, because this is very strange. This is uh, starting to like feel like this can't be a fluke, right? But definitely a very good Elite Trainer Box. Anytime you get two GXs, that's a big success to me. And when they're both tag teams, that's, even a, that's another plus. When they're both Gardevoir Sylveon, that's great. I think the only two that I would prefer to see are the Restroom Charizard or the Mux. Yeah, where are my Mux? Are the Mux... Ooh, this is... Is this faded or is this just how the art is? And then a Wigglytuff. I'm gonna have to wait for my next Litten. See, I feel like that, that art looks a little different to me. Okay, next pack, Reshiram Charizard. Yeah, Elite Trainer Boxes are always hit and miss, like it's super disappointing when you don't get anything. Uh, but we've been we've been avoiding those pretty well so far in this set, so Elite Trainer Boxes have been treating us well. I think Dragon's Majesty, where Elite Trainer Boxes was like as good as it gets compared to no Booster Box. Um, that was really rough, I felt like I kept coming up short on all my boxes. Alright, let's see, we have a Sand Dial, and then a Land... I didn't even realize this was the reverse. And then a Landris. These, uh, as far as this set of like legendary guys, these guys are, these guys are strange. All right, on to our last pack. We don't need anything else, but how amazing would it be if we got one more hit out of our single elite trainer box? All right, for our last pack, we have a metal energy, gloom. That art is hysterical. Dodrio. Radicate, Zubat, a Jigglypuff, Bell Sprout, Diglett interrupting Giovanni, interesting art, Tyrogue for the reverse, and then a Arbuck. So we did get two good hits, two tag teams, uh, and they're the same one, which is very strange. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as always, you do want to support the channel, uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know um, how your own polls are going, or what is your how many how many Gardevoir Gardevoir Sylveons have you pulled? Um, are am, am I the only one that's seeing them a bunch versus basically everything else in the set? Uh, let me know in a comment below. This is just very funny. Um, but yeah, very happy with the, the results. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I'm Juan Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.